Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you notice Microsoft Word is acting very slow to open up or load properly. So this should hopefully be a pretty quick tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the Microsoft Word application if it's not already up on your computers. So just open up a blank Word document or an existing one, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to select the blank document. And then I'm going to go up to the top left, left clicking on the File tab one time. And then I'm going to go down and left click on Options on the left panel here. So left click on Options. First thing you want to do is go underneath Advanced. So just left click on Advanced one time. Scroll down on the right until you get to underneath General. Right here. You want to uncheck the box to update automatic links that open. So just uncheck that right there so it won't be automatically updating links which might slow it down. Now if you do want to automatically update links, keep it checkmarked. It doesn't really matter too much to me. Um, then also you can go down to Trust Center and then left click on Trust Center Settings. Underneath Macro Settings, consider disabling all macros without notification. So instead of just disabling them with notification, you're just disabling them without notification. Most people shouldn't really have an issue with that. If you don't know what macros are, you probably don't really use them, to be honest. But if you ended up finding that something wasn't working right and you had to re-enable macros, you could always come back in here. A lot of times macros are not used properly in terms of how they might be trying to redistribute links to suspicious websites and whatnot. So that's usually better practice, like they have it in here to just keep them disabled. So disabling it with all macros without notification doesn't create any security risk. Now if you went down to protected view and start unchecking enable protected views and these options, you would be opening up a potential issue in that regard. I do see some videos that do advocate for that. It seems like all of them do, to be honest. I would personally keep them checkmarked just for security sake. And then once you're done with all this, just left going OK. OK again to close out of this window. With just restarting the Microsoft Word application, I hope that does resolve the problem for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.